the guys. Pilgrim. You got your finest on today, I see. Great to see you again. Hey, gang, how are you? We're great. great. Good. Great to see you guys. How's uh, how's the trip been so far? Wonderful. Yeah, you are you learning a lot? Yeah. Oh yes. Where did you where did you go earlier today? Uh, shopping. Yeah, Breakfast. You got your morning uh, <laughs> the morning fueling station. Down the, the coffee shop or whatever. What did you hear? The bus is the first. Thing. We were learning. The bus this is the first right. thing. Yeah. yeah I bet right. your name is Isaac. It is. <laughs> See how I knew that? Um, yeah, so what, what did you guys, uh, what did you learn this morning? Where, where were you that uh, that you haven't been before? Well, this we is our bus. first place. This is the, the first stop. Yeah, first stop okay. this morning. Came from Cape Cod, but we did hear a summary of the Pilgrim story, didn't we? Right. Capstone. Yes. Uh, capstone on the whole thing. We've been here for three days, so we've been studying in depth so that, Kirk, now that you're here to explain this to us, now we're going to we're gonna understand it forever. And uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to do, I think, right now, aren't we? It, it, yes. Uh, is this the first time Yes. That you've seen this monument? Yes. 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 Oh, we've been in the movie. We saw it on a movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We saw it. Okay. Yeah. We saw it on a movie. <laughs> this is some movie. But this is the first time you've been in, uh, in to see it in person. Yes. yes. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. So, uh, well, Paul, we were kind of hiding back over here, so I'm not sure how much how I much they've already the heard. The history behind it and how it was financed. How it was financed. That's okay. All. Yep. You know. Have, did you tell them? I thought this was interesting. You probably said this to me, and I just I had forgotten it over over the, the months that we've been doing all of this. But those shells in the beginning, did you explain to them what those were? I thought that was fascinating. Yeah, these shells that were at the bottom are the remnants of the what was on top of the original Hammett Billings Monument over Plymouth Rock. The monument over Plymouth Rock was very ornate. It was narrow and very tall, and it held the bones that were found of the Pilgrims the first winter on top of the rock. Yeah for those who had stepped on for the stepping stone of freedom and given their lives for that, were on top of that. When that monument was torn down in the tercentenary and the new monument put up, remember when I talked to you about on, on Plymouth Rock, when that was done, they took off some of the ornate parts of that stone sculpture that Hammett Billings had done, and those were these shells, and they now are aligned here. Because remember, the two monuments are linked together. Not only is there a monument over Plymouth Rock, but part of Plymouth Rock is on this monument linking the two together, that they stepped on board the shore, and this tells you why they stepped here. What, what, what part of this monument is, is part of the Plymouth Rock monument? She's stepping on Plymouth Rock, in fact, piece, right up there. Is that a piece of that stone? That's right, it's supposed to be a piece. It's not an actual piece of the stone, but it's a symbolic, a symbolic of it. Plymouth okay. Rock that she's standing on Plymouth Rock, okay. faith is. So and the pilgrims stepped on Plymouth Rock, but what really stepped on Plymouth Rock was their faith in God. Amen. 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 Well, uh, well, let's 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 start with the monument, and, and we'll we'll decode. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Hey, Gary, good to see you guys. Uh, we're gonna decode the monument. We're gonna explain the whole thing for you. Now, I know if you've seen monumentally, you've seen this once before. Uh, but uh, this handsome guy in the in the beret with the goatee <laughs> is gonna do it all over again. So um, let's see. <clears throat> Marshall, how, how do we start out here? What's the best place to start? Well, the best place to start would probably be the largest of hey. all of the yeah. uh, statues. Uh, faith. Faith is the one that, that it begins with. All of the other sub-statues come Turn around. Hey. Marshall, yeah. center. look at us. Oh, you can't hear me. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just so handsome, uh, Marshall. Is. I know, yes. We need you. Okay. I, uh, faith is uh, is the beginning. It's in, we're having a debate in America today whether or not God can be mentioned in platforms, can be mentioned in public, can be mentioned in schools, can be talked about even in a, in a prayer after a football game. Well, the people that founded this country knew that liberty was founded upon one thing, and that is faith in Almighty God. That was the center focus. You'll lose liberty, you'll lose freedom, you'll lose education, you'll lose everything if you don't have true faith. And they understood that, and so they made that the focus of their lives. It wasn't something they did on Sunday morning, it was something that they lived out throughout the week. And you see your hand pointed up to heaven, her right hand is pointed up to heaven, pointing to who? God. God, the Lord, Jehovah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that was what their faith was in. It wasn't a general faith, it was a faith in the God of the Bible. How do we know that? Well, because she's holding a Geneva Bible in her left hand that is blown open. In other words, they actually read this Bible. And as they read it, they were given then wisdom 
and character and an ability to be the suffering, sacrificing, loving servants of God who could then come with their families and found the world's first Christian republic. It's an incredible miracle. And it happened not by the power of the sword, not by the power of armies, nobody coming in and killing and taking down other cultures. It came with a group of individuals and families, as we learned this week, just what, 23 families, they come in on that ship and they found this country. They did it because of their faith in Almighty God, their knowledge of the Word of God, which they studied every morning and every afternoon, as we learned, that was the Word of God was the center of their reading, the center of their education. Then they were given wisdom. You see the star that's up on her forehead represents wisdom or a knowledge base, a wisdom that was given to them by the Word of God so that they would know what to do. They would know how to live. And that was the center focus of their life. So that's the beginning of it all. And you see that this monument was put together, a monument to the forefathers erected by a grateful people in remembrance of their labor, sacrifices, and sufferings for the cause of civil and religious liberty. Note that they came for both, civil and religious liberty. These weren't just a bunch of nice little people wandering around with little penguin outfits, uh, sidelights of society. They came to build a civilization and to bring something that had not been true in Europe or in Asia or South America or Africa or anywhere else in the world, and that is civil and religious liberty, both. That's a miracle. That has never happened. In the 5,000 years of human history, there's never been anything like this, ultimately. And so this is what they did. And they built it first upon faith, faith a belief that infiltrated their entire being. That was the center of their lives. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes.